Okay. Now, in this problem, we need to work out the shaded region that I've got in the diagram. And this example is a little bit more complicated than you would usually see. Okay, so we're going to have to use a little bit of ingenuity here to work out this region. Now, firstly, one of the problems is that we won't be able to integrate across with minus 3 all the way to 5, okay? Mainly because that will include this region underneath the x axis, which we don't want. Okay, so we're going to have to split this region up into several pieces. The first piece that I want you to consider is the rectangle. Okay, so the area of the rectangle, so that is 3 and 5, so that's 8. So the rectangle area is actually 7 times 8 because the height is 7 it goes up to y is 7 this straight line okay so 7 times 8 is 56 so the area of the rectangle is 56 and we're going to have to take away this slice and this slice okay now the good thing about a quadratic is that there is a line of symmetry okay so the line of symmetry that goes straight down uh, the actual vertex is at minus one okay so you could do you can work that out just by completing the square okay so that's equal to x minus one all squared take away nine Okay, so the vertex is at 1 minus 9, so that means the line of symmetry is at x is minus 1, x is 1, sorry. Okay, and we add 3 to get to 4, and we take away 3 to get to minus 2. Okay, so in actual fact, this region, let's call it region A, is exactly the same area as region B over here okay so I only need to do one calculation so I'm going to work out the area of region A okay so I'm going to integrate x squared minus 2x minus 8 dx and and I'm going to evaluate it between x is 4 and 5 So I write my answer in square brackets as usual. I get x cubed over 3. Take away x squared. Take away 8x. Evaluated between 5 and 4. Okay. So I'm first going to substitute in x is 5. And I get 125 over 3, take away 25, take away 40, and then I substitute in x is 4, so I get 64 over 3, take away 16, take away 32. Okay, so this first bracket, when you add all these pieces together, is minus 70 over 3 okay and the second bracket when you've added all those pieces together is minus 80 over 3 okay so we've got minus 70 over 3 plus 80 over 3 so we get 10 over 3 or 10 thirds okay so the area of region A is 10 thirds the area of region B 
is also 10 thirds. So the actual shaded region area is equal to the 56, the area of the rectangle, take away two lots of 10 thirds, so 20 over 3. OK? OK, so the answer to this is 148 thirds. OK? So we used our knowledge of the symmetry of the quadratic, OK? And the limitations of the integral. Okay, of what values we can evaluate it at. So be wary of possible shortcuts that you might use.